Hello and welcome, it's KB here. In this video, I wanna show you guys how to use Gemini Live on Windows PC. As you guys know, Gemini Live is a feature in Gemini app, which lets you have a conversation with AI. Uh, just like chat GPT's voice conversation because that thing is more popular than the Gemini Live. Gemini Live is new, but you can't really use chat GPT's voice conversation feature on PC. It doesn't matter what you use like emulator and whatnot. But luckily, Gemini Live actually works on emulator. So my favorite emulator is Momo Player. 12 uh, as we go through this video i'll tell you guys why i like this simulator first let me give you guys a demo okay so you can download the uh, gemini app from the google play store just go into the play store and download it and open it and here you can actually see we have a button gemini live button if you see this that means you can use the gemini live so let me actually give you guys a demo by running it it's kind of cool <laughs> okay Hello, how are you doing? Hello there, I'm doing well, thanks for asking. It's always nice to hear from someone new. How about you? Okay, it works, okay? I'm not gonna waste your time here. And second thing, uh, Gemini Live is also slowly rolling out to the free users. You don't need to have a Gemini advanced subscription. Here you can see for me, Gemini Live is available for free and I'm not using Gemini Advanced. You can see here it says try Gemini Advanced because I'm using the free one. I also did a video on uh, Gemini Live becoming free. Okay, so why I like the simulator? Let's talk about this first. <laughs> okay, uh, it will work on almost all the emulators, the popular ones at least, like the BlueStacks, LD Player and whatnot. Now, let me show you guys the task manager here. Look at the CPU usage. This simulator is a GPU intensive emulator, which means if you're playing game or something, it will use more GPU than CPU. It's just a simple application, so it doesn't even use any amount of CPU. You can see 0.6% CPU usage while running this app. This is just insane. Okay, you can see CPU usage. 14% uh, that's because I'm actually using some other apps to record this video OBS is the one which is using the most of my CPU and rest the simulator is like really lightweight for my system okay even if we go into the performance and go into GPU you can see GPU usage is also not that much 18% uh, and GPU zero this is for recording my videos. I don't think I need to explain everything. All you need to know here is that this simulator works really well and doesn't use much system resources. So I have been trying to do the same thing for a while on ChatGPT, but for some reason, ChatGPT doesn't work. The, at least the voice conversation feature. So let's try this one more time. Maybe this time it will work. Okay, I'm gonna download the ChatGPT. Yeah, here we have the beta. Okay, let's download this. Well, I guess now I can't even sign in into a ChatGPT. I think ChatGPT requires you to have a SIM card on a phone and uh, that's why the ChatGPT doesn't work. So basically you can't use voice conversation feature of ChatGPT on PC using emulator, but on Google side, it's different. It just works. Don't ask me how and why. It just works. Now, this can be really useful for many different situations. Let's say you're playing a, some complex game. You can ask Gemini while you're playing a game. Yeah, you can have a conversation about the game. <laughs> let's say I'm playing Minecraft. I don't know what item, like let's say some random item that I got or I want to get some info. I can fire up this and have a conversation with Gemini while I'm playing the game. You can use this any way you want. Okay, so let's have a conversation one more time. Hello, how are you? I'm playing a Minecraft. Can you help me with that? Hey there, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. What can I do to help you with Minecraft? I don't know. I'm stuck. Uh, I don't know how to get into the uh, end portal. There is a lava underneath. Okay, sounds like you could use a hand there. Can you tell me a little more about where you're at? Like, are you in a stronghold or did you find a random portal somewhere? 
I'm in a stronghold. A single world in Minecraft can have up to three strongholds. They're basically huge, fortress-like structures that hold the end portal you need to beat the game. Each stronghold has its own end portal. So if the portal in one stronghold is messed up, you can always try the other two. Oh, how do I open the portal? I see some eyes on the portal, but it's not... There is a lava. You need to find something called an eye of... Okay, yeah, that lava can definitely be a problem. A couple of things you can try. If you have... So you saw as you can talk, interrupt uh, the Gemini with your voice command. This is really good. Like you can change the topic at any time. Okay. You don't even have to say stop or something. This can be really useful in many cases. This is just a small example that like let's say you're playing some complex game. You can use this. Yeah, you can have a conversation or I mean, again, as I said, you can use this any way you want. This is really good. And you saw the CPU usage. Yeah, it raised a little bit. It uses like around 7% of the CPU when it is running the app, when you're using the app. When you're not using it, the CPU usage drops. Let's talk about- I'm ready to be your voice. If voices, you like what you hear, you can feel free to voices. keep exploring until you, you can always- If you're curious about the other voices, it's good to meet you. Give me a chance. Maybe I'm your stop. I'd be honored to- Choosing a voice is- Maybe I'm the voice that- I'm another voice in the mix. I'll be here whenever you're ready to talk. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that, I guess. Yeah, you can change the voices. Hello. I have defeated the Ender Dragon. Thank you for your help. <laughs> awesome job. That's a major milestone. Beating the Ender Dragon is no easy feat. You should feel really proud. Yeah, thank you. Good night. It's, it's night time for me. I'm gonna go. Good night. Sleep well. Don't forget, sweet dreams. See you next time. Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna give it a uh, felt natural. Let's let's send that again. So yeah, basically you can use Google Gemini on PC with Android emulators. You can use any Android emulator that works best for your system, but make sure that it supports Google Gemini and Google app. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'm pretty sure that the, uh, what do you call it? The Bluestacks will definitely work. It is really popular one, but I prefer this, okay? Momo Player 12, because it doesn't use that much re system resources. It only uses system resources when you're using the application plus when you're playing a game. Otherwise, it just stays quiet in the background. Momo headless front end. This is the main like background process which actually does everything, okay? So it's sitting at like 0.5% CPU usage, which is really good. And uh, this video isn't about the uh, Android emulator, but since you need an Android emulator to use Gemini Live, uh, I mean, you can also try this, but again, you can use any Android emulator that works best for your system. Yeah, now go ahead and have fun with your Gemini live on Windows 11, 10, 8, 7, or whichever you use. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye.